Good afternoon. Welcome to St. Gregory the Great Church and the celebration of the anniversary of Scouting. The celebrant for today's Mass is Father Leon Burnett, assisted by Deacon Mike Brock. All the oaths that Scouts and American Heritage Girls recite make reference to their duty to God. Today, after Mass, Father Leon will bless and present religious emblems and other recognitions to youth that fulfill their duty to God by learning more about their Catholic faith. The St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry supplies are low. Please consider donating to the Heart to Heart Food Drive. Non-perishable food will be collected before and after Masses next weekend, February 11th and 12th. See the bulletin for details. The parish social and new parishioner welcome for February is combined with the pancake breakfast next Sunday in the Ministry Center gym. All parishioners, including new families, are invited to join us. If you wish to join St. Greg's Parish, you may register at that time. Important events this week at St. Greg's include adoration and reception to celebrate the 21st anniversary of St. Greg's Adoration Chapel, a baptism class and first communion workshops, and much more. Please take and read the bulletin and discover all the life-giving ways God is working and waiting for you at St. Greg's. At this time, I ask you to stand and welcome those around you. that we had some of the scouts starting to clap during the song. We should have kept that going. The problem is they would put you up there then, you know. You have to lead us all. As we gather this beautiful day, we celebrate Scout Sunday. And of course, we know uh, 
all of the branches of scouting have had a close relationship with the church as we believe in and work towards the same values and goals. And this Mass in particular, we're so grateful to have so many of our scouts present along with their families. And after Mass, uh, we will be giving them awards. Some 50 of our scouts are being awarded religious emblems, which is no small accomplishment. So I say we congratulate them and their work. Cross that line out, my family. Deacon Mike just told me I made his homily shorter because he was announcing it there too. <laughs> but you can still announce it again. It's good news, we gotta put it out there. As we uh, gather this joyful day, we remember that we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth as we bring the value of the gospel alive. And so we pray to do so as we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, the communion, of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, to prepare ourselves to come to the altar worthily and celebrate once again the sacred mysteries, we pause to acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you call us to be salt of the earth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be the light of the world. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to glorify God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Can we have uh, the scouts Declan and Vivian come forward for the readings, please?
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just when there's a light in darkness to the upright. Not just when there's a light in darkness to the upright. A light rises in the darkness for the upright. Generous, merciful, and just. It goes well for the man who deals generously and ends, who conducts his affairs with justice. The just man is a A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with some sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, with, but with de demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith may not rest on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. I just happened to lean over to uh, Father Leon and said our scouts, uh, Vivian and Declan, did an awesome job with today's readings. And uh, Father Leon, never to miss an opening, and I'm learning this about him, whispered back, much better than any of my deacons. <laughs> so Vivian and uh, Declan, where are you? Raise your hands. Vivian and Declan. Where's Vivian? I don't see your hand. Read. There you go, hon. The next time you see me dressed up in my uniform at Mass, you're invited to help me anytime with my readings. You really did a great job. <laughs> Today we gather not only as a Sunday of worship like we usually do on Sundays, but we, today we also celebrate Scouting's annual anniversary in America. And the boys, their anniversary date is Wednesday, and the girls is March 12th. But most importantly, we're here to recognize all the work that they did on their, on their uh, religious emblems. So, we have over 50 scouts spanning the American Heritage Girls who earned their Respect Life patch, the Girl Scouts who earned God is Love, Family of God, and I Live My Faith emblems, and our Cub Scouts here in the front row who have earned their Light of Christ emblem. So scouts, and I know that there are more scouts here, but if you're one of the recipients, just kindly stand so that we can recognize you again. Go on, stand up. Everyone who earned a religious emblem, come on, Cub Scouts, all you guys earned your light of Christ. Stand up. There you go. Go ahead, you can sit down. So, on, so congratulations, and again, on behalf of Fathers Leon, Father Joe, and myself, who are the clergy leaders for all the scouts, your scout leaders and your school teachers, we're really super proud of you. So again, congratulations. Now, before I get into my homily, I have a question. For you scouts, don't answer the question. Just keep your hands down. I'm going to have everybody raise their hands with my, with my question. So here's the question for everyone else. If you were ever a scout, had a brother or sister who was a scout, if one of your parents or grandparents were a scout, or if you raised children who were in any of the scout programs, the American Heritage Girls, the Girl Scouts, the Cub Scouts, the Boy Scouts, the Explorers, just please raise your hand. I don't see Eagle Scout Greg there raising his hand. That's a sign he's not paying no attention to my homily. Okay. All right, Greg, you and I will have a conversation afterwards. Keep your hands up there for a minute. I want to see you. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, you can put your hands down. Well, I really didn't expect this. You see, it's going to have to ch I'm going to have to change up my homily strategy a little bit here. You see, because I wrote this homily just for the scouts and what I was going to do is I was going to give everyone else 15 minutes off so that you could run over to Basil Chevrolet for some free showroom coffee and popcorn. <laughs> oh, there's David and Colleen. Uh, 
I didn't realize that you were here. Uh, but now I see that there's going to be relevance for everyone, so you can't go for the showroom coffee and popcorn. You're going to have to stay here. Now, Scouts, I want to begin the discussion with you on salt. Yes, salt. As crazy as that may sound, why salt? Well, I'm not sure what your most interesting Christmas gift was, so think about it for a minute. Not your best Christmas gift or the one that was kind of marginal, but what was your most interesting Christmas gift? Now, don't raise your hands or anything, but do you have that image in your mind, your most interesting Christmas gift? Okay, you got that? Okay, well, my most interesting Christmas gift was a book called Salt, A World History. Yes, I'm already ahead of you. I know, really, lucky me. I know what you're thinking. A 5,000-year history, over 450 pages on salt. It was like three book reports from your teacher. So, during the blizzard, guess what I did? I read the whole book. This is what I've learned. The only rock we eat, salt, dates back thousands of years before the time of Christ. There are over 14,000 uses spanning covenants, religious ceremonies, magical terms, preservation of food and others. Civilizations rose and fell over salt. It is a substance so valuable it served as currency influenced the establishment of trade routes in cities, provoked and financed wars, secured empires, and inspired revolutions. 2,000 years ago, Jesus used salt as a metaphor when he compared his disciples to salt of the earth and light of the world. While both metaphors have to do with discipleship, salt of the earth is about one's distinctiveness, zest, an identity in the world. Light of the world relates to one's influence in the world. You see, what Jesus was trying to convey to his disciples and to us is that we are to affect the world the way salt and light affects their surroundings. The call to be salt of the earth and light of the world are well-known phrases. However, they are often misunderstood, especially salt. So what is salt? Well, in simplest terms, salt is a byproduct of a reaction between a base and an acid. And you'll learn that shortly in some of your science classes here at St. Greg's. When combined, they make a unique and distinctive, well-balanced compound, just as Jesus intended us to be unique and distinctive. Yet, however distinct, salt by itself is helpless and useless. Salt only becomes useful when it is used and mixed with other things. For example, salt is used in cooking to flavor food, popcorn, okay, I couldn't resist, and cure meats and cheeses. Salt is used to melt snow and ice, and I'm sure there was a lot of salt used in our last snowstorm. When Jesus called us salt and light, he was telling us we have the talents and gifts that could be of great value and help to others. Gifts for which we often perhaps do not give ourselves credit for. The prophet Isaiah described how we can be salt of the world by sharing bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, being friendly in school, set a good example, and be good stewards of our time. Sometimes we are called to do big things to help others, and sometimes it's just those little day acts of kindness that are significant and important. Just giving another person a smile or a kind word is all we need to do, even if it seems it's the hardest thing to do at that moment in time. And all those exercises that you did in your religious emblem books, that too were about learning how to be salt of the earth and light of the world. Personally, for me, as a lifelong scout, being called salt of the earth is no more a proxy for living the, uh, the scout oath and law and the virtues of the Beatitudes from last week's gospel story. And we develop our own individual distinctiveness, zest, or saltiness 
when we promise others, when we promise to help them at all times, keeping ourselves mentally awake and morally straight. We become that city set upon a mountain when we develop our character to be trustworthy, loyal, meek, helpful, friendly, merciful, courteous, kind, peacemakers, obedient, cheerful. We thirst for righteousness, thrifty, brave, comfort those who mourn, clean of heart and reverent. Indeed, this is what Jesus asks of his disciples every day. That's what we're being asked to do today. And when we do these things, and when we interact nicely with others, we are, just as Jesus said, salt of the earth and light of the world that shines before all others. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life for the world to come. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you knowing that you call us to be your light and salt in the world today. May we be that light of Christ, and may we preserve that gift of faith and give it great flavor in the world we live. Hear now our needs and petitions and help us on our way. For all leaders in the church, may they be the salt of the earth and the light to all nations especially to nations in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all government leaders and legislators, may they be guided by wisdom and prudence, and may they, there be an end to all violent conflict in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, especially as we observe World Day of the Sick at the end of this week, May our Lord comfort them and ease their suffering of mind and body. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all catechumens, may they be filled with the hope of the life-giving spirit as they prepare themselves for the sacrament of initiation and full communion with the Catholic faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all consecrated women and men, as we celebrate World Day for Consecrated Life, may the Lord continue to bless them as they minister to many of the flock and their respective ministries. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our religious emblem recipients today, may they continue to grow in their faith to be salt of the world, salt of the earth and light of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, may we be Christ present in the world today, salt of the earth and light of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
and thanksgiving for the 21st anniversary of our St. Gregory the Great Adoration Chapel during this time of Eucharistic revival. May Christ draw us even closer to the mystery of his presence in the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died in faith, may they be granted the rewards and blessing of the kingdom especially those who have passed on this week from our parish and faith-based community. Stanley Prozny, Prozny, Olivia Boyd, Janet Zurich, and especially for Frank Stahl, who this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own prayers and concerns, which we offer now in prayerful silence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lovely Father, we offer to you the many needs, those spoken and those treasured in our hearts. Once again, we ask you, please, hear us and help us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our scouts who are going to bring up the gifts can proceed to the back. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father.
O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. We know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Gregory the Great, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through 
him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. salt of the earth and the light of Christ in the world today as we bring the light and the love, the message, the healing, the teaching of Christ alive in this place and time. We pray for that grace and courage at our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching as we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Glory us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, from all anxiety, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church graciously. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Before we uh, conclude, just a couple of reminders. First of all, for, for the adults among us, or young adults among us, who may not be yet confirmed, uh, we invite you to come. We have four adult sessions for adult preparation for confirmation this spring. So if you uh, have not, for whatever reason, been confirmed, we do invite you to, uh, to co contact us. There's more information in the bulletin. And the uh, classes will be on Tuesday evenings, and there are four of them to come to and prepare you to be confirmed at the Easter Vigil. Uh, also, reminder that uh, next weekend is the Knights of Columbus uh, Pancake Breakfast, so right after Mass, you can go over to the, to the Ministry Center for that. It's always a wonderful time. And pre-sale tickets are available for purchase online through our website. And... Uh, a reminder, a couple weeks away, but February 22nd is Ash Wednesday, so already time to start thinking about Lent. Honestly, I haven't put the Christmas decorations away yet, <laughs> but it's time to start thinking about Lent. <laughs> 
and uh, so we, we should be preparing for that as well. And uh, two more things. Uh, we've already acknowledged our, our young people, our scouts, uh, the uh, American Heritage Girls, the Brownies, the Girl Scouts, our Cub Scouts, our Boy Scouts, and their awards. And after Mass, we will uh, return into church after we process out and, and have your award ceremony. And I'd like to just take a moment to ask all of the adults involved in scouting to stand for a moment. All of the adults involved. We have really tremendous leadership here in the parish in scouting, and scouting would not take place if it wasn't for all of you. And not only is it scouting that you do, but all of you are involved in so many other things too. And so we thank you for all that you do for us here at St. Greg's and for our young scouts. And uh, along with, uh, with, with our adult leaders, among them Jim Smizinski was standing. He is the, the big, big scout at the, the row, uh, the right there waving. He is also the chairman, the leader uh, of the Catholic Committee on Scouting for the entire diocese. And he does tremendous work. And we, we thank you, Jim, for all that you do, bringing uh, scouting and our Catholic faith together. We thank you for all of your work and service. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Past Friday was uh, the Feast of St. Blaise, and that's, of course, the traditional day to bless throats. And uh, when we bless individually, you know, we use the candles around your neck. And uh, I always threaten to light the candles, you know. I think it would be kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. But we would like to offer that uh, traditional blessing. It's the same blessing as if the candles were around your neck. Uh, it is asking the intercession of St. Blaise. And so that prayer. Through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from every disease of the throat and from every other illness. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth and live the scout oath and scout law to be salt of the earth and light to the world. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We offer a prayer for renewal. In every age, O oh God, you've called us to be your people, to be your church. In this time, we begin anew to discern the pathways that will lead us, your people, closer to you. Continually bless our journey as we proclaim your good news. Celebrate your saving presence among us. Serve others with charity and justice and steward the world you have entrusted to our care. Send your spirit to lead and guide our Emmaus journey as we commit ourselves to the renewal of our church. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. May our protection against the wickedness and sins of the world. May God Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rachel, can you bring my case up here, please? Why don't you break it? Okay. okay, scouts. Shh. Scouts, you did a phenomenal job today. So this is how the rest of the program is going to run. Father Leon and Father Joe. I saw Father Joe here too. So Father Leon and Father Joe are going to say a prayer. They're going to bless the medals. They're going to bless you. And then we're going to call up the groups as they were on the overhead screen to receive your, your medals. And then you're going to go sit down. And then when everybody has their medal, you're going to come back up and you're going to get a picture with me. Well, Father too. So, okay. All right. Great. So I'm going to turn it over to Father Joe and Father Leon. Well, congratulations again, everyone. A beautiful job. I think it is a great statement to see this many awards on a table and uh, your great work. So we thank God for your desire and willingness and hard work. We ask the Lord's blessing upon you for your continued successes in scouting and in all of what you do. And so we pray together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And may the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, the author and source of all life, we know that you give us that precious gift of life. You give us that call to be your salt, your light in the world today. And you give us all of our talents and abilities, and we are to use them to be that light and that salt. We pray your blessing now upon all of these awards that our scouts are to receive, the medals, the badges, the certificates. 
And Lord, we pray your blessing upon our scouts that they continue to be faithful disciples of your Son. And we ask this blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Here we go. Father Joe, why don't you stay here and you can help pass out. Okay, thank you very much, Father, both fathers. So I'm going to call up the groups. And I actually, maybe I think what we'll do is, so we're going to do it individually, the groups. We'll have the American Heritage Girls, if they can come up. We have three young scouts who are going to receive, receive their, uh, so it's, it's uh, Denver, Sophia, and Lillian. Just come on up and you can stand right here. We'll get a, we'll get a group picture with, uh, with the two fathers and myself. Denver, come on up. Who else is going to? Sophia, Lillian. Where's the other? Okay, great. Denver? Sophia's not here. Oh, Sophia's not here? Okay, great. Great. Lillian? Come on right here. Let's get a picture right you here with us. Come in front of yeah. us. Yeah, stand right in front of us. Good job. And another year, you'll be too tall for me to let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That goes for Sophia. Okay, so let go. Okay, you can go back to your seat. We're going to call you up once, once more. Can, Okay, next, can we have, so this is going to be for the Girl Scouts. We're going to do Family of God. So all the Girl Scouts who, are, who have earned the Family of God, and I don't have a list of the names, so, so if the adult leaders can help. We have three, six, nine, we have 12. Oh, the list, I, I can't read that on my glasses. Here you go, Father Joe. Father Leon? Okay. Okay, girls, come on up. You can go to Father Leon, too. Here you go. Come on up. Come on and stay right here. Come on up. Here's one. Somebody's missing a medal. Who's or we're missing a somebody. Or we're missing. We're missing a somebody. Okay, girls, come on right up here. Come on. Come on up. Oh, you get one? Right oh, wait a minute. Right. right around us, but we need short people up front. Okay. Turn around and put on your best smile. Okay, did anyone not get one of the medals? Okay, turn around. Uh oh, we'll have to get one more for you, okay? Okay. Just Everyone look for. Look at the cameras. Okay, girls, go sit down. Okay. Okay, now we're going. So she didn't get a medal. Okay, go. Go, go see Miss, Mrs. Basil, Mrs. Basil right there. Miss Basil, she did not get. Joe. Oh, Joe. Oh, man. Okay, can I have all the Girl Scouts who earned their I Live My Faith medal come forward? I Live My Faith. Go to see Father Leon or Father Joe. They're going to give you your medal. Vivian, very good. And stay right here. Here you go. And we have everybody. Everyone has theirs. Okay, girls, come on, step back. Take a step back. Everybody, I'm actually missing. There's one missing, so. Two. I oh. have one, two. Okay, we'll give these to Miss Basil, and she can handle that. Okay, go on. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay, now this is the big group. All the girls that earn God is love, come forward, please. God is love. Come on, girls, come on right forward. See Father Joe or Father Leon, they're going to give you your medal. And stay right here, honey. More. Okay, girls, come on, come on, real, cl real close to me. Okay, and turn around and look back. Come on, girls, come on, right up in front. Come on, honey, hon, come on over here. Here, let's squeeze in, girls. Come on over and come on right in front. Yeah, come, come on, honey, come on right over here. Come on, there you go. 
Yeah. There you go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Everyone make sure that you can see those who have cameras. Okay. Big smiles. On three, we're going to say pizza. Ready? One, two, three. Pizza! Okay, girls, go okay, ahead and wait, sit down. No, 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 yeah. because we wait for to see one of the girls. Oh. Okay, okay. And are you, can oh. we see you? Michelle, can you be seen? There. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you come right there. All right, we're going to try this. Everybody's face. We need to see everybody's face. If you can't see mom, mom can't see you. Ready? We try pizza again. One, two, three. Pizza! Okay, go take a seat. Okay. Okay, light, light of Christ. There, there you go. Okay, the Cub Scouts that earned the light of Christ. You guys, I know exactly where you are. Come on forward. All right. See Father Leon, he has one. Congratulations. There you go. And over come here. on over, guys. Come on over. Come on you got up. one already? You didn't get one. Congratulations. You got my hand first, and now your mouth. There you you go. are. And Great, and I do have a, a patch for bison. Oh, here you go. There you go, you get a patch, too. No, come on, stay up here. Come on, everybody. Okay. On three, one, two, three, ready? Okay, now one last picture. If we can try to do this, can we have all the scouts that earn medals come forward? And we're going to have you on the steps of the altar. Yeah, should we move this yeah. table? Yeah, I can do it for you. Okay. Okay. Let's get girls. Come on forward, scouts. Let's. Come on right up here. There you go. That's it. Stay right. Just grab a seat right here. Keep this top step for, uh, for Father Leon and Father Joe. You girls, go ahead, go ahead, hop right in there. There you go. There you go. Father Leon and Father Joe, come on up here. Yep. You can, you can get right in the center. Can we see everybody? Can everybody see everybody? Can everybody see the cameras? Yep. We have a few more. <laughs> A few more coming in. We gotta get Father Joe up here after he's done organizing things. Everybody. All right, Father Joe. Come on, Father Joe. Okay. He's so worried that everyone's not. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Boys, we can't see the boys. I'll, I'll oh, get. How about the cub? The cub? The, the cub scouts? Come on, right here, and you guys can sit on the floor. The cub scouts. The boys. Yep, you guys stay right there. Come on. You can sit right on the floor. Go ahead, take, take a seat right on the floor. Just to, go ahead. So, here, come on over there. Go on over there. There you go. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, perfect. Jeez. Let's say popcorn on three. Ready? One, two, three. Popcorn! Okay, did we get all the pictures? Okay, scouts, you can head over to the ministry center for popcorn and donuts. You're gathering. There you go. That'd be throwing right off. There you go.
Hello.